and welcome back to TikTok Tuesday. Today I'm finally going over tick types. Lots of different types of ticks. Of course you have like simple and complex, but I'm talking about all the ticks that could ever be. Well, not could ever be. I can't go through and list every single tick that has ever existed or ever will exist. I categorized it to as much as I could possibly think of or search or know from my own experience. Um, and a lot of them are pretty common, but of course, this is not a representative of every single person with Tourette syndrome or a tick disorder. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get started. So of course we have our simple and complex motor and vocal tics. Your simple motor tics are gonna be your abrupt jerks. Complex motor tics are gonna look like coordinated or purposeful. The simple vocal tics are a lot more inarticulate sounds or noises and the complex vocal tics are gonna be, or gonna seem like they have a linguistic meaning to another person, but maybe not to the person who is expressing those tics. I mean, they might know it, but they also d don't mean what they say, if that makes sense. Um, so dystonic tics is a new one. Not to be confused with catatonic. So this one's kind of interesting. So ca when you're catatonic, uh, it's usually a symptom of something else, but um, you're immobile or stuck, I guess is a weird word you could put that. But when you're a dystonic tick, is, it kind of looks like catatonic, but it's like twisting, tightening, squeezing, pulling movements in your muscles and your body. So it looks like, y it, you look like you might be stuck, but you're really, it's just tensing kind of. And that's a dystonic tick. A myoclonic tick is going to be your brief, rapid jerking movements. Uh, sensory ticks are going to be more of like a self-simulation or a regulation uh, type tick, or there's a premonetary sensation that you need to satisfy. Compulsive ticks are going to be, or they're also called OCD related ticks, are the ritualistic ticks in response to an obsession that is satisfactory. And then impulsive ticks is going to be the socially inappropriate or destructive that is in is that is in response to visual or audible stimuli. Um, interesting the way it's defined as socially inappropriate because I feel like all ticks are technically socially inappropriate. Maybe not always destructive. I just thought that was interesting. Okay, so this next part is just a huge list of different ticks. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm scrolling, but I'm gonna start with motor ticks. So we have abdominal flexing or scrunching ankle flexing or shaking, arm flailing, flapping, flexing or jerking, bending, like bending your body, uh, bladder ticks, so contracting or relaxing the muscle that allows you to urinate, which is your urethral sphincters, and then bowel ticks, which uh, contracting or relaxing the muscle that allows you to defecate, which is your anal sphincter, biting, clicking, body jerking, flexing or contracting, teeth grinding, I actually just did that when you saw it, uh, teeth grinding, chattering, biting, or clicking, jaw opening and closing, uh, joint cracking, like that. Sorry if people don't like that. I do that all the time, but it's not a tick. I just do it. Um, dancing, that would be a complex motor tick. Uh, finger drumming, hitting, tapping, flexing, extending, snapping, stretching, flicking. This one's a big one for me. I tend to finger flex a lot, and it looks like I'm pointing at people or pointing at something, and I'm not. And this is it right here where I'm like completely stretch them out. And it's usually the index fingers. Um, I already said uh, dystonia, like con more, more specifically dystonia that is contracting the muscles that lead to cramps or abnormal posturing, which is why I said it can look catatonic in that sense. Um, that's gonna be very complex and a lot more severe. Eye blinking, rolling, winking, squinting, and widening, uh, eyebrow raising and furrowing, Facial grimacing, contorting, or rubbing, uh, nail flicking, like flicking your nail or bending them, uh, hair tossing, twisting, pulling, foot flexing, extending, dragging, shaking, and stopping, head jerking, banging, bobbing, twisting, shaking, tossing, swiveling, hand clapping, flapping, flexing, extending, shaking, hand stands. That one is an interesting one to me. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, headstands, hopping, jumping, squatting, hitting, shaking, stretching, punching, hugging, kissing, knee flexing, extending, shaking, knocking, lip biting, licking, smacking, sucking, pouting, 
leg shaking, kicking, flexing, extending, jerking. Mouth frowning, smiling, stretching, pursing, making funny and inappropriate, inappropriate faces. Neck jerking, rolling, scrunching, popping. Echopraxia, which is a complex motor tick, which is uh, mimicking or mirroring others. Uh, copopraxia, which is making obscene gestures like flicking somebody off. Also a complex motor tick. Uh, I think I already talked about, I think I might've put this on twice now that I'm looking at it. Uh, I put dystonia on there again. Muscle flexing, stretching, extending, contracting, tensing. Sorry, I didn't realize that I put that on twice. Clothes, touching, pulling, or adjusting. That would be more of an obsessive or compulsive tick, sorry. Nose scrunching, flaring, touching, inhaling and exhaling. Scratching, pinching, poking, pointing, skipping, shuffling, rubbing, spitting. Spitting is a huge one of mine, and I hate it. <laughs> uh, shoulder, well, it might be more OCD related. Anyway, shoulder shrugging, rolling, protracting, and retracting of the scapula. Uh, tongue, well, <laughs> sticking out your tongue, flicking it, shaking it, rolling it, blowing, whew, touching your tongue or touching things with your tongue. Toe walking or flexing. Uh, I do that one a lot. I flex my toes. I walk on my toes too. I, know, I don't think it's a tick though. I honestly think it's just something I've been doing since I could walk. But it can be a tick. Uh, like I said, anything can be a tick. Uh, toe walking, flexing, snapping, flicking, pointing, tapping, sucking, touching own genitalia or backside, twirling, wrist flexing, rolling, pronating, and supinating, like that. Sometimes it, I, I tend to do that one a lot too. Um, extending your body and flexing your body. I know that was a lot. <laughs> I was trying to get through it as quickly as possible so it doesn't get too boring. Um, but there's a lot there and there's a lot that I didn't even get to mention because I can't think of any more. I tried to uh, include as many body parts and what they can do and what people tend to do with them. Um, what I tend to do is like put my neck down and I try not to do that, but I don't think I put that on there. I think I just realized that. Whatever. So we're on to vocal ticks next. Uh, these are a lot more, um, oh, sh what's the word I'm looking for? Interesting. I was going to say, but I wouldn't call it that. I think it's more interesting because uh, vocal tics are more present in Tourette's syndrome than other tic disorders, but not always. Uh, but that's pretty much the surefire way you know you might have Tourette's syndrome, usually. Um, so, vocal tics, animal sounds, baby talk, barking. Barking is my OG tic, by the way. That's a big one for me or hooting same thing um kind of anyway barking burping blurting out words or phrases breathing gasping chirping squeaking clicking coughing drum sounds grunting gulping air screaming high-pitched sounds hiccuping howling hooting hissing humming inappropriate responses to others like inappropriate in response to others of what they say or do uh laughing shouting throat noises uh, like in the back of your throat, uh, or just guttural sounds, nonsense words, mumbling, whispering, odd speech patterns, vocal emphasis, diction, or pronunciation. I have a big one with that one. So if I'm saying something, um, I like to put a lot of emphasis, mainly when I swear. <laughs> um, but um, I don't think I have swearing tics. I think I just put a lot more emphasis on the consonants, if that makes sense. Um, panting, popping, coprolalia, the famous tick. <laughs> so coprolalia is the tick that is always associated with Tourette's syndrome and is often, very often, uh, misrepresented in media because of it. So coprolalia is saying obscene words or phrases. And to be honest, only 10% of people that are affected with TS have this tick. But that's the tick that everyone associates Tourette's syndrome with, even though most people don't even have it. But that's what it is. It's called coprolalia. I don't have it. I don't think. 
<laughs> I think my swearing comes from the heart. Um, echolalia, which is repeating or mimicking others. Palalalia, or palalalia. It's hard to pronounce some of these, which is repeating yourself or the words that you say. I've seen kids uh, do this quite often. Delayed echolalia, which would be like repeating song lyrics or commercials, uh, things like that that you've heard and they're playing in your head. Mimicking sounds that objects objects make. Gagging, vomiting, singing, screeching, accents. I think that one's really cool. Stuttering, sniffle noises, sucking noises, kissing noises, throat clearing, cartoon voices. I also like that one, that one's really cool. Um, whistling, yelping, yipping, and yelling. Those are all the vocal tics that I could think of and what I could find and try to relate it to as many as I could. Same with the motor tics. Of course, that is not all the tics that have ever existed. There are plenty more. And usually the, the more intricate and complex they are, the harder they are for me personally to classify. Because when I say like, uh, like if you're flexing a, a certain muscle, I say finger flexing, you might be flexing it a certain way. Um, that's why I said the pronation and supination. If you're just twisting your wrist, you might be twisting it this way or this way. Same with your foot or uh, other body parts that you could uh, twist and turn. Um, and it could be rhythmic too. So there, there's a lot of variety and diversity in tics, as you can tell from what I just told you. Um, but yeah, big one on corporalia. I really want to get that straight. Not everybody swears. Just because someone swears a lot. Well, I was going to say, people swear voluntarily too, but just because someone has Tourette syndrome does not mean all they're going to do is swear at you or make obscene gestures like copapraxia. Um, for, like I said, for me, when I swear, it comes from the heart, but um, sometimes it, it is a tick, but like I said, it's more of the, the consonants of the sounds is more of the tick than actually saying the word like emphasis on some of the sounds um but yeah <laughs> i i like to point out south park i'm not a fan of south park but they have one episode called le petite tourette and it's a whole episode dedicated to tourette syndrome where the main character or one of the main characters eric cartman notices a new kid swearing a bunch and he finds out that he has tourette syndrome and so obviously this adult humor he's just thinking oh I can just say all these cuss words and says all these obscene words and just gets away with it because he thinks oh, I'm just gonna do it a disorder where you can cuss all the time all right I'm gonna do it and then later in the episode he uh goes to or his friend goes to um uh like a like a, a meeting or something and they all meet together and talk about uh so Tret syndrome is not the same for everybody. Everyone has different tics. Sometimes it's napping, bending your neck, blinking, winking. There's a lot of different types of tics. And I applaud that episode for spreading awareness and correcting the stereotypes. Uh, something interesting. I don't recommend watching South Park because I mean, it's just, it's an inappropriate show and it makes me feel ill watching it. But that episode, uh, I applaud. I'm very, very happy that they had accurate representation of Tourette syndrome and in the background they showed uh, comorbid disorders too which just made me so happy that it was completely accurate so those are as many types of texts as I could think of and come up with I really hope y'all enjoyed it like I said not every single person has all these texts and some of these texts that people have aren't even on here um as many as I could think of I guess I don't really know how to end this today. I'm having an off day. It's a Monday and it's gloomy. So I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.